Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to part two of Shop My Stash video. We're gonna go ahead and get started with uh, new makeup. We're gonna shop my stash for new makeup to use for this time around. And then uh, we'll start here and then we'll move on to the rest of the collection, pick some products out, and then we'll do swatches. If you enjoyed this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, part one was already up and I'll have it in the description box and the links above. Go ahead and check it out. I had a recap of all the products that were in my door last time around. Anyway, let's get started with new makeup. Um, I do, we are in fall time, so I do really want to keep in mind that I do have some fall palettes some fall palettes, some, some fall eyeshadow palettes um, that I really want to play with. But with that being said, still going to go ahead and pull a couple stuff from here. I'm going to pull in the Merit Solo Shadow uh, Matte Eye Color in the shade is Viper. I really, really want to pull that guy in. I do want to pull in um, one of the uh, Rowan eyeshadow palettes i think the eyeshadow quad i think i'm gonna go ahead and pull in uh the 75 degrees is this the hope that this is the more yes this is the one i was thinking of so i'm gonna pull this one in um let's do i'm gonna do one of these hourglass palettes uh i'm gonna pull in this one this is the leopard packaging, but I did get the uh, color story, the snake color story in here, color story two or three, one of them, whatever it was. So this is the little bit deeper one. I'm gonna pull that one in. I'm so tempted, let me show you. I'm so tempted to pull this baby in. I think I'm gonna, I think, I think this would look really pretty with these topper shades possibly from Rowan. So I'm gonna do it. This is the Danessa Myricks Beauty, um, defining neutrals. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay. What else do we have in here? We've got some, this is new by Patrick Ta. I think I'll pull it in this time as well. This is in the shade, uh, it's giving rich. It's giving rich. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull it in. It's new. I want to try it. I want to play with it. So let's do that. Got a couple foundations and, um, I don't know which one do I want to try out. I think I'm going to pull in the Chanel one. Le Beige, uh, Eau de Teint. And this is in the shade Medium Light. I think I'm going to go ahead and try it out. Can I do this one? Yes, I do. I'm thinking like, oh, I always do this. I always say I'm not going to get too many products from here. But then I end up with a ton of products. Um, we have a concealer. And this is by... Ooh, I think I think I'm I think I want this one. I think this was a darker red. Oh yeah, perfect for this time. I'm gonna do this YSL lippy. This is the the slim velvet radical, and the shade is uh radical chili. I'm gonna grab that. I have a Pacifica concealer. I think I'm gonna try it. This is the Dreamlit Glow concealer, and this is in the shade 09. What else do we have in here? I think it's time. I think it's time I pull in this micro smooth Sephora palette. This is in the shade Enchanted. And I think that will be it from this drawer. That's a lot of products. Um, let's go ahead and move on to like the older parts of the collection. Uh, I think we'll go to, should we do primers? Let's do face primers and then we'll do a couple more foundations, concealers, and yeah, we'll go from there. All right, for face primers, why don't we go ahead and pull in, I'm going to do this one, the, uh, the Heart Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. This is the 12 hour makeup grip. I think this was supposed to be also like a kind of like these by e.l.f., a dupe for the milk one. So I think I'm going to pull that in. I'm definitely going to pull that in, not I think. 
I'm gonna do that one and then I'm gonna go ahead and go with a hydrating primer. This is the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. Uh, it's I haven't used it in so long, so I do wanna play with it and see what I think. Alrighty, you guys, let's go ahead and pull in some foundations and concealers for this time around. Um, let's see, what do I wanna play with? We do have the, uh, we already pulled in one foundation. I was really considering pulling in the clay de peau uh, as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that one in. Um, let's see, what have we not used in a long time? I think, why don't we go ahead and pull in uh, this Merit uh, stick. This is a foundation concealer stick and I have it in the shade Bisque. I'm gonna pull that one in and then one more. I think, why don't we do, 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 do. what do I wanna play with? Should we do LYS? I have two LYS, one is a little bit deeper. Um, let's do LYS. I'm gonna pull in the lighter shade, which is MN1. Uh, I think MN5 might be a little bit too dark for me right now. It's either this one or what other choice do I want? I do really like the Fenty East Drops. Let's do Fenty East Drops. It's been so long. So I'm going to do these in the shade as number seven. Um, concealers. Let's see. What do we want to play with concealers? Which ones do we want to play with? Considering this one, the Urban Decay Stay Naked, I can't believe how old this is now. I'm going to pull that one in. Um, I do have a Pacifica concealer already pulled in. And how about we pull in one more? You know, it's been a while since I used Kosas. Let's pull in Kosas concealer. Um, this is in the shade 04. I think that's it for concealers. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, I have this in here. Okay. It's trash. Let's go ahead and pull in some powders. Okay, for powders, oh, let's see. Um, I think I have really been enjoying like the brightened look. So I do want to pull in like a brightening powder. This is the Besame. Um, brightening violet powder the shade is translucent but it is violet so i'm gonna do that one uh we'll start off with that how about it's been a while since i used my la prairie i think i'll pull la prairie in i do love this powder i need to use some more I need to use it i need to use more of it for a finishing powder i think i will go ahead and pull in i'm gonna pull in my laura mercier the shade Candle Glow shade two. We'll do this one. And I need some more. I need what we do. Oh, let's test out this uh, NARS one. This was like a uh, a part of a gift with purchase thing. This is the Light Reflecting Setting Powder. Um, and this is in the shade Translucent Crystal. So I'm gonna do that. And just in case we don't like that one, why don't we pull in a little mini? This is Laura Mercier, um, her normal translucent powder. Plenty, plenty of powders for this time around. Think I'm gonna move on to uh, eyeshadow palettes. I'm so excited. We're pulling in some stuff for fall. I might go crazy, so forgive me, but let's do it. Okay, for eyeshadow palettes, this is this is gonna be difficult. I did reorganize over here. I um, I was thinking about decluttering, but then I pulled all of my eyeshadow palettes out, and I was like, nope, I love them all. They're all staying. So, <laughs> so here we are. Uh, I think I'm gonna start with the uh, Nars Climax eyeshadow palette. This is just a fall palette. It, I mean, it has to be pulled in. So we're doing that one. Um, another one that I am thinking about would be one of Dose of Colors Cutting Edge Eyeshadow Palette. This is a really pretty, like super fall palette. So let's do that one. Um, Gemini, where is it? By Melt Cosmetics. This is another, like I'm ready for fall palette. 
Okay. Pulling in quite a few, I know, but I did the math. I have 128 eyeshadow palettes. If I use each one for three days, I can rotate through them all in one year, which I don't usually do. So I need to start using them. Um, we could do, we want to do ABH. I mean, ABH subcultures always fall. Let's check the next drawer down. Can we see it here? think you can see it. I'm trying to work on my filming angles so I don't give people <sighs> dizziness. I, I, I got that comment that people are getting dizzy watching my videos. So I don't know if I want anything from here. This is all Pat McGrath. We've got Natasha Denona. Have my Huda pa Ooh, we could do Huda palettes in here. But I have one more drawer. Let's let me switch you over to that one drawer, and then we'll get maybe one more palette. Um, I, I think I'm just gonna have to film this video pretty soon again. Let's do that. Let's let's get one more palette. I think I'm going for it. I'm gonna go for uh, Gather Round Sisters from ColourPop collab uh, with Hocus Pocus. I'm definitely gonna do that one. I feel like I want one more, you guys. Is that terrible? No. We gotta play with what we get. We gotta play with what we got. Mm. Should we do the other one with it? Should we do both of these? Let's do both of these. The Witching Hour by Colourpop. Okay, that is a lot of eyeshadow palettes, but I'm not mad about it. Um, how about next? I'm gonna leave setting spray and lippies all the way to the end. We have face palettes, so we don't need any face palettes. Let's get some bronzers and then we'll do blush, highlight, and end with uh, lippies and uh, oh, what's the other word? Setting spray. <laughs> do we want single shadows? We already pulled in a single shadow, so no. Okay, let's move. Let's move on to uh, bronzers and blushes and highlights. All right, here we are for uh, bronzers. Do I have any bronzers already pulled in? No, I do not. Um, so we need bronzers. I, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pull in cream bronzers first. And then we'll figure out the rest. I think for creams, I would like to pull in, let's do the, uh, by Mario. This is in the shade light medium. Um, oh. I hate how it's so wiggly in here. Okay, we do that one. How about we also pull in? No, I'm really considering pulling this guy up or in. This is the Too Faced Bonjour Soleil. Um, mainly because I really want to play with the Chocolate Soleil, the original Chocolate Soleil. Um, I, I gotta figure out what to do with this palette. I've had this for years. This what year? Could it be? I don't know. I've had this thing for a really, really long time. It is so old. It's kind of gross, isn't it? The highlight in here is so pretty. If it still works. Ah, oh, the formula's changed completely. Yeah, I think this palette might have to go bye-bye. No, these are okay. Hmm. No, I'm going to pull it in. I'm going to pull it in. Why not? Never use it. So I'm going to do it. And then, you know, maybe I like it. Maybe I don't. Maybe I hate it. Um, We'll do that one. The Mario. How about just one more bronzer? Something, something that would fit in that little area that I have. Uh do cover effects this is a nice one i could do do like this one but let's see which other one could i do let's do one of the uh okay give me sun i'm gonna try give me sun by uh mac this is very warm tone on me so i do want to try it and see how i what i think about it I think that will be it for bronzers. Again, I do have two face palettes and they each have a bronzer in them. So I, I, I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm 
Let's not worry about me. I'll be fine. Let's move on to blushes. Okay, for blush, this is this is the nightmare drawer over here. Like, really, this is my nightmare. <laughs> I keep buying. I keep buying blushes. And I'm like, you know, but I can't. I can't not do it. Um, From here, what do we want to play with? I think. I'm going to go ahead. I, I need a moment to think before I start saying I think. Um, what are those ones? Got, are they both Chanel? Yeah, Chanel. Which one is this one? That's the Tweed one. Tweed, is that what it's called? Yeah. Tweed and then this one I love. I think this is the one I'm thinking about. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and pull this one in. This is the uh, Blush Lumiere. This was a, um, let's say this was a limited edition last year. This is the Peche Rosé. I'm going to pull this one in. We'll start with that one. I kind of really want to play with this Danessa Myricks one. It's been a little while and I remember really enjoying it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one in too. This is in the shade Bellini. This is Yummy Skin, the shade Bellini. How about we do Ooh. Melt Honey Thief? I haven't used it in so long. So long. My goodness. How about we do this is Dolce Vita. I'm gonna pull in Dolce Vita. It reminds me a little bit of the uh, the one I just had in by Laura Mercier, although this is like shimmery. The Laura Mercier one was matte, but felt like it really did not look good on my skin tone. So I'm gonna pull that one in and figure that out. Um, I'm, I'm sending a package to my friend, so I'm trying to figure out what I like and what I don't like before I send the package. So if there's some stuff, I can send them to her if they would work for her. I'm gonna play with this guy. I know it does not look the prettiest, but this shade, I remember this shade being so beautiful. This is the Mother of Pearls uh, by MAC. So I'm gonna do that one. I have one, two, three, four blushes. And then I would like one more blush. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go for This one. I think I'm gonna try out Dallas by Benefit. It's been a while since I played with this guy. I just wish the packaging for this wasn't so huge. I think I'm gonna do this one unless I find something else that I'm interested in playing with. How is it that I didn't get any blushes last time around when I shopped my stash? No, no blushes. Didn't pick, can't, I didn't pull in any blushes. Let's do Dallas. Yeah, let's play with Dallas. Um, oh, actually, I'm not. I'm going to skip Dallas. I'm going to use the Clinique Get Cheeky palette. It has two blushes in here. I remember really liking them, and it's like beautiful highlighter. So I'm going to play with this one. Okay, let's do some highlights. Alrighty, for highlighters... Uh, I feel like it's the palette day. I'm going to play with this one. This is from MAC. It is really old. And I don't know if I still enjoy it or not. So this is the gold. I want to say. I don't know what it's called. Hyper Real Glow. And it's got to be the gold one. Um, so I'm going to pull this one in. And I just want one single highlighter, I think. Um... Well, one or two. <laughs> I think I'm going to play with these. The uh, Fenty um, like Diamond Bombs. We've got Fenty Glow. This is the deeper shade one. And then we've got the uh, How Many Carrots, which is like the lighter one. Uh, I think I'm going to pull in How Many Carrots because these are really cute as like toppers. 
and that will give me an excuse to blend more highlighters um which other highlighter do i want to play with oh, i do want a max like a mac highlighter we've got global glow soft and gentle it's this one show gold uh whisper oh but i pulled in a, a palette forget it we're not getting mac highlighters we're getting we already have a palette pulled in so we're not gonna pull in more mac uh why don't we do i think i'm gonna go ahead and try for nars i'm gonna try this one by nars this is the fort de france I remember so many people loving this thing and I gotta figure it out. So I felt like I struggled with it. I really struggled applying this guy. It, I would hard pin it really easily. I don't know if just the brush that I was using with it or what. It does not swatch very nice. Well, it swatches really nicely now, <laughs> but let's go. Let's, let's go ahead and pull this one in. And then now the only thing left are lippies and setting spray. Let me go ahead and pull in, let's pull in a couple. Let's pull in a couple lippies and then some setting sprays. Okay, for lippies, I f I'm, I'm really feeling like all of the stuff I purchased around the holidays. So I do want to pull in some Givenchy lippies because, you know, bought them last year around the this time of the year. Um, Intense Silk, I don't know. I'm going to pull two shade 37 look at that shade 37 and 37 i don't want to do 237 let's do these two i don't know what they are right now but we'll find out so i'm gonna pull in these two by Givenchy. i really want some glosses let's do this is cashew by tower 28 let's do that one a really nice too by uh bobby brown um free spirit let's do this one this is the crushed oil infused gloss let's do that how about we do oh should we do merit let's do merit and some gloss bombs by fenty merit how about we do from Mary? Let's do the neutral one. I think this is in the shade taupe. Yeah, let's do taupe. And then for Fenty gloss bombs, let's do. Do we want a cream? We want the Fenty cream, or do I want the Fenty gloss bomb? Um, let's get the Fenty glow cream one. The cream Fenty glow. side pat mcgrath labs this is in the shade flush six do that one okay let's go one drawer down okay from here Tristique Florence Fig. I really like that one. Ooh, I think it's a good time to pull in this one. Uh, Makeout Club by Freck Beauty, and this is in the shade Oi, Rust. I do want a liquid lipstick. I think I'm going to do a red liquid lipstick. For sure, I really want to do this one. This is the Dior Forever something. Let me figure it out. This is the Forever Liquid, and the shade is 626. I don't know what the shade name is, but shade number is 626. And one last lippy, and then we'll be done. Well, we'll, we'll need some lip liners and some setting sprays, but lippies lippy wise will be done why don't we do pumpkin pie is it pumpkin pie pumpkin spice by Too Faced. those are really cute and they're really good for this time of the year have a couple hot butter drum pumpkin spice and then we've got hot toddy 
I think I will go with Ooh, what, what shade do I want? Let's do hot toddy and then we'll do pumpkin spice. Let's do two of them. For lip liners, oh, this is such a hard thing to do, lip liners. I want a neutral one. <laughs> How about we do NYX London? That looks like a, a neutral shade. And then let's do, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull in this one. This is by um, Tower 28 and this is one liner and the shade is Work of Art. I'm gonna do this one too. Okay, setting sprays. For setting spray, I, I I gotta say, I'm really obsessed with this Cali Ray. I think it's so nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it in. And then I do wanna do a primer mist of some sort. Um, so this one, the NYX Bear With Me. I like it as a primer mist. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in the drawer and then let's do swatches. Alrighty, you guys, I put everything back in the drawer. My drawer is packed full, but it's all right. I know I have a lot of face palettes. Um, I have basically like five face palettes in here. Um, so two full face palettes, and then I have three palettes that are one bronzers, one highlights, and one blushes. So I know I have these, and I went a little crazy with eyeshadow palettes this time around, but it's all right. We're in the fall. I do want variety. I have been trying to wear makeup more often. So it's okay. We will go ahead and get started with, uh, what do I wanna get started with? Maybe we'll start primers, foundations, and all that. I do wanna move some of these palettes out of my way just so it does not look super crowded in here, um, just for visibility kind of purposes. Let's see how many eyeshadow palettes I pulled in this time. Seven, one, two, three, and then four, seven. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> just a little crazy, just a little. All right, we'll start with uh, primers and then foundations. I pulled in two primers. I pulled in the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. I remember really enjoying this one. It felt just like a fresh water squeeze all over my face. That's back in the day when I used to use it. And then the Heart Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. Uh, this is a makeup gripping primer. What I remember is it used to be a dupe for the uh, Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So we'll see. It's been a while since I used these two. So ooh, I hope that I don't break out. For foundations, I pulled in four foundations, but technically one of them is a tint. Um, Chanel Le Beige Eau de Teint Water Fresh Tint, and I have this one in the shade Light Medium. I really, really hope that this matches me because in the packaging, it looks really dark. I haven't tested it out yet. I haven't tried it, but we will find out. And then I pulled in the uh, Merit. This is the Perfecting Complexion Stick and I have it in the shade Bisque. I do really like this one. I actually used it the other day and that's why I'm like, okay, I need to play with this again. Um, it's so easy to use. The shade is perfect for me. Like it needs a little bit of warming up with uh, like needs a little bit extra bronzing, but it's just a good shade match. And I like that I can use it as a concealer as well. Um, quick and easy. So we'll see how it goes on my skin. Um, again, it's like I, it had been a while and I played with it and I enjoyed it. So I hope to continue to enjoy it. We've got Fenty uh, Ease Drops, and this this is in the shade 7. I'm not really interested in picking up her new Ease Drops. I mean, I have this one, so we'll see how that... Uh, I know there had been some comparison videos, but I'm not interested in a new one. I, there are other foundations that I'd be more interested in. And then I have Clé de Peau. Um, this is the Radiant Fluid Foundation, natural, and I have it in the shade 030, medium ochre. This is uh, new-ish to me. Um, I have used it a couple times and I love how it looks on my skin. Packaging is really nice too, it's really heavy. <laughs> so there is that. Um, I'm looking forward to my foundations this time around. I think I have a nice variety. Alrighty, my pepperoni really wanted to get in the room. So 
Um, let's move on to concealers. For concealers, I pulled in three. Uh, Urban Decay Naked. Wow, I don't remember last time I used it. I really don't remember. I don't know if it even works for me or not. This is in the shade 40 NY. Um, I need to test it. I'm basically retesting that one and seeing like, does it still fit in my life or does it need to go? Uh, we have Kosas. This is the revealer. Is it what it's called? Revealer, concealer? Maybe not. Maybe just the foundation is the revealer. But this is in the shade 04. I remember this was a little bit on the yellow undertone for me. Um, but it's nice. It's, it's brightening and it's a good formula. Um, but again, that's an older one. I was trying to use it up and I don't know what happened. I just stopped working on it. Um, but it would be nice to just be done with that. And then the last one is Pacifica. This is the Dream Lit Glow Concealer. I like how heavy duty this uh, packaging is. It's like a glass bottle. Funny, it does say bottle made from glass. Maybe just be careful, don't drop it, don't break it. It <laughs> could be. Uh, what shade do I have? I have the shade 09. I want to say it was... Uh, uh daisy cash who was talking about that one and recommended it and i was like okay i'll give it a shot moving along let's talk about powders <clears throat> i have three loose powders and one press and one finishing uh, my loose powders this time i just for simplicity and for size wise i'm pulling in the translucent uh, loose powder a mini this is by laura mercier it's not open yet i do need to take the stopper out and just open that I uh, pulled in Besame. They don't have these anymore. They don't, I mean, they make powders, but they don't do these loose powders anymore. And I remember really, really enjoying them. I used up the uh, pink one. I used up the normal vanilla. I've used up a couple of the brightening violet ones. So this is my last one of them. And I want to play with it again. It has a nice violet brightening shade to it brighten under the eye really nice i remember enjoying it quite a bit and then the last loose powder is la prairie i don't like this one for under my eye because i feel like it does not set my concealer really well and it's a little bit tinted but i really like it all over the face i feel like throughout the day my skin looks uh, like hydrated glowy kind of thing it's not drying or any of that and i have it in the shade two translucent two um now let's talk about the other powders that we have we've got the nars light reflecting setting powder this is in the shade translucent crystal this was a sample that i got for free from ulta if you uh, if you watched my samples video that's where i opened this one i was like what the hell is this and i sound like i stabbed it so i really don't know i feel like this is i, I don't know i feel like this is i, I thought it was a coating on top and i was like trying to remove it at first i'm like wait why does it feel spongy like that so i don't know how well i guess we'll have to try it with my on my face and see um trying to scrape off the top okay like product comes out but it's so invisible like when i try to do this it's nothing it's invisible maybe that's a good thing maybe it's gonna be a good thing we'll find out so there's this one um and then the last powder we have is the laura mercier this is candle glow 2 i love this one as a uh finishing powder <laughs> it's so evened out i thought i would be able to finish it this year but i've been working on the hourglass one for gosh darn i don't know how long so I, this one hasn't had a chance to like be used i know it's bad it's really really bad okay that was all that we had here for powders um let's move on to what are we gonna move on to next bronzers um i'll start with the bronze palette or uh yeah we'll do bronzers blushes highlights and then we'll do face palettes um this is old a lot of my stuff i'm like ooh, this is old should i be sharing this should i should i show you guys this stuff um i think that the uh the sun snow bunny um one is completely just it's very hard panned i can't pick anything up I'm just, let's see if i can disturb the top layer and see if we can get some color i remember really liking the snow bunny highlighter um 
it's nice because you could like concentrate your brush on certain areas so if i wanted this side or this side or i remember really enjoying that let me tap this out and then we can see if it works Okay, clean fingers. Nope. Mm -mm. Well, it's really old, so I honestly don't expect it to work anymore. Um, we have Sun Bunny. I do like this one because this is two shades. Uh, you can use them individually. You could use them together. But the glow that you get from them mixed together is just so beautiful. So I remember really enjoying this one and the Chocolate Soleil. It's been a while since I had Chocolate Soleil in my life. I do, I do like bronzers from Too Faced. They're bronzers and blushes. I do really enjoy them and I'm kind of like being itching to pick up a couple um i'm not a fan of their eyeshadows at all but i'm kind of itching to try some of their stuff um i wish this was less <laughs> i wish this was less bulky and i totally stabbed it um it, it would it would be nicer but it is what it is it's kind of cute it's old it's very old don't ask me how old probably 2006 16 17 could it be oh my god wow okay yeah it's old <laughs> all right let's talk about the blush palette which is uh get cheeky by clinique so two blushes and a highlighter i hate i hate i hate this part i think it's supposed to be because like it's a extruded product and just fits nicely on there um i guess that that's probably the reason why it's like that but it makes me feel like there used to be a mirror here and it fell out that's what i think but these are really nice and it has been so long since i played with them like really really long time um blush one blush two and highlight really pretty so i'm looking forward to playing with that one and then we have the highlighter palette. The highlighter palette is the Hyper Real Glow by MAC. I want to say this is the gold one. We've got gold, co gold coasting, get it glowing, and rosy cheer. These are pretty blinding from what I remember. I guess not as bad as I thought they were going to be. Pretty, really, really pretty. So there's the highlighters. You know what? Forget it. We're gonna continue with face palettes. We can't not do the other two face palettes and move on to singles. That's just can't. Mm -mm. Sephora Micro Smooth Multitasking Baked Face Palette. So I did use it. I used it um the same day that I was playing with I wanted something quick and easy and I was playing with that Merit um, foundation thing and I was like, well, let me play with this. So that's, I did, I used it is what I'm trying to say. And I was so, so impressed by how beautiful all of these products look on my face. The only product I didn't use was this high, this blush, topper blush whatever but i used these oh my goodness we'll start with the bronzer just watch the bronzer and then blush one blush two and highlight so bronzer blush one blush two highlight um it was so beautiful on my skin you guys and i did like that once i set my face they just melted into my skin so beautiful and they're baked Super affordable if you can pick it up during Ulta, not Ulta, during Sephora's VIP sale. I think normal price is $20, but then they do 30% off Sephora brand products. It ends up being really affordable. Highly recommend. Um, I, I, like I'm telling you, my skin looked so beautiful with these products on. And then the last eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, face palette that we have for this time around is the uh, Hourglass... Um, leopard palette and i do have color story number two in here god i really hope that i'm telling you the correct color story this is the snake color story in here i customized my own 
thing. I'm really curious at how do they do it. I thought maybe I can pop this up, but I'm not gonna break it. <laughs> okay, so we have another bronzer in here. There's three blushes and two highlights. Um, I haven't used it on my skin yet. I've only swatched it. So this is the deeper of the uh, palettes that Hourglass released this year. So keep that in mind. Actually it looks pretty nice. Looks like it could be suitable for medium to deep skin tones or like deeper skin tones, but I don't know. So they went away with the uh, two finishing powders from here and they gave us two blushes, which, hey, I'm super happy about. We'll get started. Um, I'll name the shades to you. We'll start with this one, which is the finishing powder. So this is in Radiant Light. Uh, right next to it, we've got blush in the shade is Coral Haze. Right next to that is the uh, Metallic Strobe Powder in the shade is Infinite Strobe Light. Over here, we've got a blush in the shade Sunbeam, another blush in the shade Mystic Flush, and then finally a bronzer in the Solar Bronze shade. I do not have any of these shades in my collection. I'm so happy to be getting three blushes. Like, I'm really happy with that. I could, I don't need three uh, or two finishing powders. I have a favorite finishing powder that I like to use, so I don't need two. Um, so yeah, there she is, the uh, other um, face palette. Now we can move on to bronzers, blushes, and highlights. Okay, for bronzers, why don't we do the cream bronzer first? We have uh, Makeup by Mario, uh, Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer, and the shade is Light Medium. The formula of this thing is just so amazing. It is so soft. It's so light <laughs> it's really nice there she is or it is i don't know time for that box to go you know i have the box because this way i can differentiate between this one and then the powder i'm gonna keep the box uh, i did stick my uh, fenty beauty cream bronzer in here i'm trying to finish this guy i don't have much left and i just really need to finish it all right the other bronzer that i do have is by uh, MAC and this is in the shade S Give Me Sun. I feel like this is very warm tone on me, but I will have to see. There it is. I think that's it for bronzers. I don't think I pulled in any other uh, bronzers. Uh, nope, I don't think so. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about blushes. I have a few blushes this time. We've got uh, Chanel. This is in the shade Pesh Rosé. I really like this one. Like I like this one a lot. Beautiful blush. There's that. Unfortunately, I'm wearing down the embossment. But it's pretty deep embossment is pretty deep so it's gonna be a while uh we've got mac this is a uh, mother of pearl this is a beautiful shade really pretty shade there it is we have vanessa myrick's yummy skin blush in the shade is bellini I'm excited to play with this one. I haven't used it in a little. Sometimes, I think since I purchased it, probably. And then we've got one more blush uh, by uh, NARS, and this is in the shade Dolce Vita. I feel like I might have to let it go because I love these shades, but they just do not look good on my skin. I feel like I look muddy, I look bruised. So we shall see. We shall see. We'll have to see how it works. <clears throat> I 
And then uh, lastly, for face product, we have um, highlighters. This is NARS and the shade is uh, Fort de France. This is, <laughs> this is a highlighter that used to drive me crazy. I used to feel like I'm not picking hardly anything up, but now it looks like I'm totally picking it up. There it is. And then we have um, a diamond bomb, and this is in how many carats? This is by Fenty. Now, these are kind of like a little weird. Um, I'm not going to lie because they're just, they're toppers, you know? But we're getting towards holidays and where it's kind of acceptable to be wearing these, these types of things all over the eyes or all over the cheek and not feel like I'm a total weirdo. So there it is. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know, when I'm going to drop off my son and I have all this glam and or pick up my son and I have all this, I just feel a lot out of place. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the two single shadows and we'll talk about the eyeshadow palettes. Uh, I didn't put anything new for eyeliners or mascaras or anything like that, so we're just gonna leave that alone. Uh, the two single shadows I pulled in for this time around, one is by Merit, this is a cream shadow and this is in the shade Viper. I could not wait to get my hands on this shade was out of stock for the longest time. I think that looks so beautiful. Just in like an all over the lid kind of shade and then topping it with some shimmery shade. That would look really, really pretty. Like that, uh, like this thing from uh, Fenty. And then we have Patrick Ta Giving Rich. <sighs> First time I, when I did my haul video, and then I tried it on my skin. It went all over my face, like all over my face. It's a bit of pain to get out of the packaging, but most of the uh, glitter products like that are. But I did use it again. Um, and I figured out that the best way to do it is to like wet your finger or your brush first and then try and pick up the product and then push it in. It would be better if I had some glitter glue on, but for demonstration purposes. It's pretty, it's really pretty, but it's a lot of work for what it is. I mean, I, I really like the ones by um, Gwen Stefani, the brand Give ones. They're really, really nice. They're not as much work as this one. My problem is like picking it up. Like why can't I freaking pick it up? Like why does my finger have to be wet or my brush or whatever to be able to pick it up? Why can't I pick it up and then, but anyways. <sighs> Rambling on about that. Um, I wouldn't, I, I wish I did not spend the $28 on it if I'm being completely honest. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna start with, what do we wanna start with? Um, I did use my Danessa Myricks Beauty Groundwork Defining Neutrals, I used it. And I was so happy, that's the same day that I used uh, the Patrick Ta, I applied the Patrick Ta on top of it. Um, I, if you watch my uh, 100 Colorful Empties, the look that I had that day, it was with this eyeshadow palette that Merit Foundation and the uh, um, Sephora quad on. Anyway, uh, creams, we've got the creams and then we've got like complimentary powders next to them. I use this, this, and this for that look. I accidentally way dipped into this one with my, uh, uh, with my like liner brush. It just was like, ah, crap stabbed it I, I felt like i just stabbed it but it was a beautiful shade to put all like the outer v um this is in the shade harvest i feel like that's a perfect name for it let's go ahead and swatch bark the her creams are like cream to powder so they feel I mean, they don't feel like very emollient cream you know and then i'm gonna do the darker shade right next to it here Ok, 
Okay, let's move on to some other shades. Let's go ahead and try out. I really want to try out that gray. I don't know how we would use that. Um, I feel like you really need... Um, this is something I feel for contouring, like I would mix this with something else. I've never used contouring like this, or I think this would probably work really well. Um, see how like her creams are, like super bouncy. Maybe they should be called mousse, not cream. So there's that one. Then let's see this one. Oh, I was gonna say that that's probably for someone uh, maybe would like is that an ash color like for brows i don't know can somebody use those for brows i'm not sure so there's that and it's called the shade stone i feel like this is what she meant to be used as um as contour this is in the shade chiseled it's so weird the formula is really really weird not complaining about it it just there Ooh, that's pretty that's a really pretty shade i'm actually impressed i would use that in my crease and then here's the powder part we've got sculpted desert sandstone mirage and tourmaline and then core anyway just a few swatches of this palette uh, again i did use it and i thought that it was super easy to use uh, i was able to pick up the shades i i only used the creams from here i did not use any of the powders used the creams and then i topped it with the patrick ta i thought it looked stunning and then they didn't crease they lasted all day i was pretty happy with it and i stained my arm let's talk about the other eyeshadow palettes we have in here um none of them are new they are older palettes but we'll go ahead and talk about them and i'll maybe maybe share some swatches <laughs> we've got gemini by melt cosmetics if this does not scream fall i don't know what does um i do like wearing grungy shades like this i feel like these look good on me um so i think i'm gonna go ahead and swatch a couple shades let's swatch mochi Fire OG, Leo, Mochi, no, this is Mochi, Fire OG, Leo, let's do this one, Polka Dot, like these are absolutely for fall, perfect fall palette, there she is. Look at, I love it. So pretty. Okay, why don't we talk about Cutting Edge by Dose of Colors? Because this reminds me a lot of the uh, Gemini palette. It has very similar colors in it, just a lot more compact. This shade in here is so pretty, you guys. Look at that shade. So pretty. Beautiful shade. The golden one in here is little too gold but layer in the two they're really really pretty i love this khaki green in here too it's just such a pretty palette and then let's do this one over here like very similar to the gemini palette by melt cosmetics like almost kind of like a compact version of that one <laughs> and then what else do we have which other palettes do we have We've got Rowan, this is in the shade 72 degrees. Swatch these, okay. I was not expecting this formula when I first dipped into these. They are newer to me, recently hauled them, um, but hey, I'm not complaining about it. They're really nice. They look so pretty on the eyes too, like the amount of shine that they give and like shift so pretty i want to dip into this one again i feel like i keep trying with this one shade there's something stuck up on top like it did not remove all of the uh top layer film oh so pretty 
Next, we've got NARS Climax eyeshadow palette. Oh, I'm so happy. So happy that I ended up picking up this one. This is like a cool tone fall palette in a way. Look, again, those shades, those green looking shades just cream to me. Can you believe this is from NARS? Can you believe that? I feel like their shades usually require a lot of work. Like a lot of work. Still very creamy. I don't know if you can get your hands on it now. I did see somebody on Instagram was talking about like how she was gifted this palette by her friend. I don't know who the person is. I'm like, where did your friend even find this thing? So here. Okay, two more eyeshadow palettes. They're both by ColourPop. They are the Hocus Pocus 1 and Hocus Pocus 2. That's what I'm going to call them. You know, um, did you see the new ABH palette? I really feel like it kind of reminds me of this one. Um, we've got some suspended glitter over here, which I cannot really like that color. Really wanted to swatch it, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna move on to some other shades. I'm gonna swatch some other shades. Ooh, it's black. Ah, I made a mess. I made a mess. Look how beautiful this palette is. Oh, I totally stained my finger with that black. Why am I swatching black shades when I have other lighter shades to swatch after? Oh my goodness, what a dum dum. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and do, I'm only gonna do a couple more shades from here because I know this video is so long already. I have a problem, I ramble. So pretty. So pretty. Okay, let's move on to the last eyeshadow palette we have for this time around. Because I like, oh my God, hurry up, Ronya. We've been here for hours. Witching Hour. Um, I did not like it as much as I liked the first Hocus Pocus, but still, you got like kind of the fall line over here. I'm actually going to go for the shimmers. My fingers are super stained. Um, so let's go ahead and swatch these shimmery shades. Where am I going to put them? How about I put them over here? Pretty. But see, like not as, not as exciting as the Hocus Pocus one. Um, more wearable for every day. Probably would be nice layering some of these shades on top of like maybe the, these on top of the purples. Um, we'll have to see. I'm gonna play with it and see. Uh, I don't know if these are, if they ever came back. They Ulta had them for a little while. They brought them back last year, but I don't know if they're back back or like what's the status of them. What's the status? I need a status update. Okay, let's move on to Libby Lippies. That's the only thing we've got remaining. Um, I'll go ahead and... Okay, lastly, we've got Lippies. I'm going to try to speed through this one. I'm going to go ahead and pull them all out. I will swatch them and then we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll come back and tell you what everything is. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the lippies. I feel very fall with these. We'll start with the lip liners. The first one over here is the Tower 28 One Liner in the shade Work of Art. The one right next to it is by NYX, and that's a uh, suede lip liner, and this is in the shade London. Moving along to uh, lip pencils, or 
crayons or whatever. The first one here is by Freck Beauty, and this is in the shade Rust. Right next, bleh, right next to it is uh, Florence Fig by Tristique. I just love this formula and this color. Over here is a YSL lippy. This is one of the slim lippies, and that's in the shade 308. I want to say it's like chili red, red chili or something like that. Moving on to the liquid lipsticks. Over here is Pumpkin Spice. Right next, right next to it is Hot Toddy. And both of these are by uh, Too Faced. Another liquid lip over here. That's the uh, Forever uh, Liquid Lipstick by Dior. And that's in the shade 626. For lip glosses, we have over here a Fenty Beauty lip cream in the shade Fenty Glow. Next to it is by uh, Pat McGrath, and this is in the shade Flesh 6. Right over here is the Crushed Oil Infused Gloss by Bobbi Brown. This one is by Tower 28, and that's the shade Cashew. Over here is Merit, and that's in the shade Taupe. And then finally, the last two lipsticks. The first one over here, they're both by Givenchy. The first one is the Satin. They're going to be the... Oh, it's the Intense Silk, and that's the shade 37. And over here is one of the satin ones. Um, I think that's what they're called. They're vel or velvet, sheer velvet, and that's in the shade 17. It looks better on my lips than it looks over here. I swatched it right on top of my little tiny arm hairs, wrist hairs, whatever. Um, we do have a lip oil, and that's the Juicy Glass intense hydrating and plumping lip oil and this is in the shade raspberry refresher the last two items in my drawer for this time around are the cali ray surf proof setting spray amazing setting spray i absolutely highly recommend and then we have nyx bear with me uh prime set and refresh primer mist i do like it as a primer mist and that is everything. That is everything I have for this time around in my drawer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I've been considering splitting it into two parts. Let me know what you think in the uh, comments section below. And thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.